five one six. That's what we're in today. Got a rust on two thousand gallon tanker on back. Off for a couple of loaders slurry. And then doing um full bathing some lambs. Sorting some blind lambs and giving them a jab of alamice in. Then feeding the cows up. So there hasn't been any content on the channel in a while because I just haven't had a camera with me at work and I'm, I'm, I've bought a new phone and that's what I'm recording on now. I haven't got the GoPro with me otherwise there'd be some different angles. But um, I figured out that there's a bit on the 516 at front where aircon is that I can just crop my phone in quite nicely. It's probably a bit bouncy but what do you do? Um, so we're on first load, but we've been having problems with it. it's been sucking up air, not slurry. Um, so we're only half full um, from my last load last night. That's bad. Um, and a little bit. What am I on about? Yeah, I did a load at 8 o'clock last night and it sucked up half a load, not a full load. So, what do you do? Um, so I'm just heading the shortcut way now, this is called Fishbeck Lane, if any of you guys are from the Steeton area that watch this, um, look for Fishbeck Lane and try drive down here with a car, then you'll realise I'm coming down here with a Fent 516 and a 2000 gallon Ruscon tanker on, and you'll soon realise that it is quite difficult. Um, but I've got it pretty nailed out now. What makes it difficult is that there's trees on both sides that knock your wing mirrors in. There's trees to watch your loader arm on. Because I've got the loader arm on. There's walls to, that you have to be careful to knock down. And then the get out is just so bad during the day. Last night it wasn't too bad because I could see um, the lights of cars. But now it's just so bad during the day. I don't know how the audio is going to sound on this, but I'll try and edit it out and then I've got another video of um, my mate Tyler Monk spreading with a John Deere and a 6 ton Monk spreader, if you guys want to see that. I'll probably put this one up before just to explain there hasn't been any content because I've been super busy with things. It's fucking good, man. I'll just spread it 3.5 and see what happens. Yeah, this get out is rather bad. And while I'm waiting for the get out, I'm going to wash my back window. Because that is pucky as fuck. I cannot see anything. So I'm just going to hold for the best. There's a wagon coming, but I had time. So it is quite a long draw, it takes me about an hour a load and then it just depends, about five minutes to a load. But it, the draw is quite long here yeah, um, because we're beef and sheep so we don't have a slurry store. Um, so we have to get it from a dairy farm and we're only allowed it in winter. So, you fucking belly. Not bad, pull that from me. Yeah, it's quite stressful on these roads because they were quite tight. Like yesterday, I freaking I met an Arctic on one of the narrowest points of the road, and that was um, rather fun. Um, yeah, that was rather fun, but I made him squeeze past me. Um, I pulled right to the side, and then I nearly took out a Jordan wagon on that get out. I've just got out of there. I nearly took out a Joda wagon with me load around, but hopefully I saw him in time. Um, now it's beginning to fucking work. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'm on two loads of this slurry, then um, all them other jobs, and then probably home time with a bit of luck. And then I don't think I'm at work this weekend, so that's not too bad. Um, I normally work three days a week, and for people uh, that say three days a week isn't too much for farming. Um, it's, it's enough for now, but then when it gets to winter, it'll probably be six, seven days a week, and then lambing is seven days a week for two months, uh, no days off, so 
might be some videos during that time. Um, it just depends. I did some this year of feeding up and, and doing, but are you fucking serious? You fucking wanker.